Um, all right, everyone. Um, morning again. Um, thank you for making it on time. Um, I'm Mohan Atreya. Uh, I lead products and solutions at a company called Rafe. Um, it's my privilege to be here today. Um, I'm just going to spend about 10 minutes kind of setting the stage for this event, Multi-Tenancy Con, which I think is the second time we're doing it. The last one was at KubeCon in North America. Um, we fundamentally feel multi-tenancy is such an important aspect uh, for everything Kubernetes. So when I look at the crowd here, I feel good about that you feel the same as well. Um, once you have your cluster up, we think the most important thing actually is to figure out multi-tenancy. Unless you understand that strategy and set this up properly, you can be in a lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about uh, why multi-tenancy. In fact, all the presenters that you'll see after this, they'll talk about various aspects of these. Some of them will go deep into specific areas. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with the why. Um, the number one problem, once you have a cluster, is uh, when you have many, many application teams on the same cluster, what are the problems that would come up? These are very obvious, right? Uh, the first is you have significant uh, opportunity to reduce wastage. Um, we see many users who have like 10, 20 clusters at 10% utilization, 5% utilization. These are bad numbers, right? You want to be at 70% utilization, 80%. So how do you reduce wastage? Very important solution um, uh, for which multi-tenancy is an answer. The second problem is when you have 20 clusters, 100 clusters, the aspect of managing them, how do you upgrade them? How do you scale them? How do you patch them? Um, if the cost of doing that on one cluster is, let's say, five hours a month, now you multiply that by 500 or 100, that's a lot of time, a lot of money. So how do you protect that? The third thing is when you have uh, a large company you want your clusters to look somewhat similar. If they are all different, then it can be a problem. So consistency, standardization, these are all challenges um, that, that uh, uh, multi-tenancy can solve for you. So multi-tenancy is a solution for all these problems that, that you'll hear the presenters in, in, in today's uh, mini conference talk about. <clears throat> so, now, when I talked about multi-tenancy, I said, hey, this is great. You can solve all these problems, but it opens new problems as well, right? When you do multi-tenancy, um, and just like this morning, I took the metro to come here. It's not a car. It's not just me driving. I am sitting in a metro with, I don't know, 100 people, right? So how do I make sure that I don't use up all my seats, right? How do I control quotas? Important problem, right? So uh, important consideration to control quotas, manage them, and all of that. The second one is isolation. Um, if you have noisy neighbors in a shared infrastructure, you can have a problem. The third thing is about access. If I am an application developer, and I can access my namespace, and let's say that person there, he can access his namespace, but he can also see my namespace, I have a problem. So how do I separate access? How do I do cost management? So if I have a shared cluster, how do I charge back to my business unit and say that, hey, your quota cost you X euros a month? How do you do that? If it's a whole cluster, the whole thing is charged to you. Then you have things like upgrades. Now you may be wondering, why is it a problem, Mohan? Right? Why is it a big deal? Imagine you have a large cluster with hundreds of applications. Now, if you are a platform engineer, you have to now coordinate with every team and make sure that their applications are compatible with the new version. That's a lot of work. Um, we see organizations struggle with that because it's a process issue, right? 
Then finally, the, the big question that comes up with multi-tenancy is that of self-service. Um, you have uh, uh, a challenge with how do I get access to my, my tenant on that cluster? Uh, do I open a ticket and wait two weeks for someone to give it to me? Can I have a self-service way, click a button, get access to something, everything gets set up? Uh, so these are some of the opportunities you have with, uh, 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 when, it, when you had to deal with multi-tenancy, some, some of the questions you have to factor in. So with that, um, what you're gonna see today, uh, we have a bunch of really fantastic speakers um, who work in the industry, who I think will bring you a wealth of information and insights. And uh, I just wanna put up the list of um, uh, folks that you can listen to today. I think we'll keep you busy until about 12 o'clock um, or around that. And uh, we hope this session is useful for you. Uh, I think there's gonna be an opportunity for feedback. In the last KubeCon, we had some fantastic feedback from the audience. We tweaked and iterated the session. I hope you can do the same for us. Help us improve this as we make this a very critical part of KubeCon going forward. So with that, um, I guess uh, I'll invite our colleagues from Microsoft um, for the first session. Let's give them a round of applause.